So in this video, let's clean up some of that junk which gets left behind with all these different applications we have installed. You know, they create all these kind of temporary files. I don't know, browsers, they've got all these cookies, their history, uh, logs, not just not just browsers, different applications. I mean, any application you use will kind of create its own trail and uh, files which it it leaves behind in your system and over time that's gonna just just waste space really so let's see how we can clean things up a bit so we have this tool here this application called bleach bit it's a there's lots of these kind of different applications guys but the reason i'm showing you this is because it's it, it's a free one it's free it's it's good um highly used it's got a nice community uh community following because uh, it's free open source as i said so people do actively contribute to it, making it better, adding more options to support more kind of applications to, to do all this kind of cleanup of your system, like I said. So once we're here on the website of Bleachbit, which is bleachbit.org, you can just click on the download now button here. You have uh, two options to select uh, select from. It, support, it can be installed on Linux or Windows. I'm gonna click on the Windows icon and here for windows we have two types of inst uh, two types of downloads we have the bleach bit installer which will actually install the application on your system or preferably which is well my preference what i like to use is a portable edition of the software so it's the bleach bit portable version we'll click on that so you can just download the portable edition extract it onto your onto your system and just run it directly from the folder without no need to install so downloads done looks like here um we'll close the browser we don't need it now and we'll go go to our downloads folder here's bleach bit we'll just right click on it and extract it uh with whatever application you've got for compressed files i'll just use the built-in windows one so i'm going to click on extract all extract and that's just going to extract it into its own um bleach bit folder as you can see it's created the bleach bit folder here just wait for that to complete the extraction right going to the folder now there's another folder in here go in there and we're looking for the actual bleach bit application to run so just scroll down a bit till we find it here it is so we don't want the console we want this one the bleach bit so just double click on that to start the app do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Indeed we do. So we'll click on yes. Now Bleach Bit is uh, loaded now, started. And what it's done is uh, detected all the, all the applications which it supports to clean up. And it's displaying them here on the left hand side. So this, this display on the left might be different for you. Um, for example, you can see how I've got Chrome, Internet Explorer, uh, Microsoft Edge, uh, the system, which is, you know, whatever is on or the Windows system. But if you had, for example, the Brave browser, uh, that would uh, show up here as well because it, it does support it and a lot of other programs as well. So it's only going to show you what you have installed and what it supports uh, and, and also remnants as well. So for example, let's say just because I mentioned the Brave browser, if I did have the Brave browser at one point in time installed, even if I had uh, uninstalled it from the system, there may possibly be uh, remnants of it stuff uh, which have remained so it would appear here again and it would uh, clean up some of those items uh, as I said it's community uh, supported as well so other than uh, the built-in detections of uh, applications which it supports the community does add uh, its own um, what should we call them definitions add-on or or just ways to identify other applications which you you may have installed and we can see those community uh, additions by going here onto the top left hand corner to the bleach bit icon and going to the preferences. Now here, if we select here this option, which says download and update cleaners from community. So we'll select that, we'll hit close. We need to just uh, restart the app. So I'm gonna close the app now and open it up again. So I'll go back to my downloads folder, back into the bleach bit folder and run the app again. And now it's going to download all those community uh, additions. So you'll probably have a lot more, a lot more things will show up. 
uh yeah there you go you can see now it's detected the uh, notepad plus plus which i do have installed there you go you can see it here but that that wasn't there before so yeah with the community additions you're going to have a lot of extra it's going to have the ability to clean up a, a lot of extra applications so go through whatever it is you want to select to to be cleaned up if there's any option which uh, could be, let's say, dangerous or cause a delay on your system, it will tell you. There's nice explanations for what everything does, um, what all of these uh, options do, which is selecting. So, for example, if I was to click on Google Chrome, it tells you here on the right hand side what all of these uh, options do. And you do get um, you can you do get warnings for some of them, for example, passwords, because that could be. Um, a dangerous one uh, if you delete your passwords accidentally from from anything you have saved in Chrome if I was to select that it gives you a nice little warning so let's just see that uh, yeah this is the warning here warning regarding your Chrome passwords this option will delete your saved passwords and you can decide if you want to do that or not so yeah basically select everything which you want to clean up uh, make sure you read any warning messages which will appear and you're good to go so let's do a little demonstration here of a few things how about windows explorer warning there you go another warning about the recent documents uh, and and the re, uh, it's going to reset the pinned uh, locations and the quick access as well to default so you will get these warnings which is nice to read in case you know you just go in and randomly selecting everything uh yeah yeah yeah, yeah yes 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 and you can do a preview which will tell you the space it's going to recover and if you're happy with that you can actually hit the clean button which will do the do the job click on delete there you go it's done whatever it needed to do according to what you selected uh, another nice feature it has is the secure erase so if you want to securely delete a file or a folder you can just once again come up here into the top left hand corner click on the icon and you've got options for uh, shred files or shred folders so let's just do a shred file and uh, let's go to our downloads folder and for, in, for an example let's delete this zip file which we downloaded so this is going to securely delete uh, the zip file from your hard disk so just click on that get an, uh, a warning a confirmation message if you're sure you want to delete it if you're happy with that click delete and it's just going to go through a process and securely delete any files or, or, or folders which you selected. So this is Bleachbit guys. Great little uh, application for you to use. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be seeing you in the next one.